The Tara and Pippa Handicap is next. This is a 0-80, to 9 furlong race. And again, we've got a big feel for this one. With it being a minor furlong, we're going around a bend, and the bend will be coming up pretty quickly as well. So early warnings at the top for Paul Parsons, blushing groom Martin Lidham, slingshot Daniel French, Marie Curie, Nick Driver, White Wizard, Derek Hinton, Shane Thorne, Matt Cooper, Steamboat Willie, Graham Clutterbuck, Blue Cheese, Matt Cooper, Replica Patrick Hogan, Babylon, Paul Parsons, Lucky Moon, Nick Driver, Aikman Allen, Oh, Graham Clutterbuck, Mulberry Tree, Martin Lidham, Poetry Flames, Jamie Hopkins, Perfect, or Point Perfect, and Girl Crew for Obi-Wan, Ladyship for Alex Cherry, and Himalayan Clarets for Jamie Hopkins. A field of 18 then. You're not going to want to be drawn wide on this one. And ready to go, and away we go. And let's see what those wide horses do when they try and get out and get to the fence. Like I say, it's a shortish run to that bend. And who's going to get there and get across to the fence? It looks like Nick Driver's Marie Curie is going to do the same as his horse did in the previous race. One or two of those others caught wide have got across a little bit. Babylon's moved through into second. Slingshot is third. Then early warning, Blushing Groom is up with the leading group as well. So too is Shane Thorne and Mulberry Tree is the one who's ended up being caught widest on the track, but only about five wide. So not too bad, but look at how strung out they are already then as they race past the six furlong pole. And it's Marie Curie who's clear by about five or six lengths to Babylon in second Poetry Flames is next then Blushing Room Shane Thorne after that Lucky Moon and Slingshot Early Warning is in that group as well with Mulberry Tree wide on the track Blue Cheese trying to get into it as well also Steamboat Willie is at the back of that lead, well, that sort of like leading group with the exception of the leader who is about four or five clear and that's Marie Curie she's clearing the lead at the moment passing the four pole from Poetry Flames in second Blushing Room's now gone into third Slingshot is fourth, then comes Lucky Moon and Early Warning, Mulberry Trees next, Babylon's on the inside, Steamboat Willie making good ground, then come the Matt Cooper pair, Blue Cheese and Shane Thorne, difficult to see anything else getting into it, even though they still two and a half furlongs to go, and it's Marie Curie who's in the lead, now being pressed up the centre of the track by Mulberry Tree, then down on this near side is Babylon, Poetry Flames is there, Slingshot is still there as well, Marie Curie is hanging on at the moment, Mulberry Tree's not picking up at all, now Babylon's coming through to challenge, so too is Poetry Flames, but Marie Marie Curie is hanging on the furlong to go. It's Marie Curie in the lead. Poetry Flames, Babylon, Slingshot coming with a run, then Blushing Groom as well. But it's still Marie Curie in front. Marie Curie, Slingshot, Babylon, Slingshot's going to get up. Babylon, here comes Poetry Flames again. It's close as they flash past the post. And Poetry Flames was finishing the best, but did Babylon hang on? That could be close. That, oh, that is close, not could be close. Could be a dead heat again. I think maybe Poetry Flames. Yep, Poetry Flames for Jamie Hopkins. A well deserved win over him. Babylon for Paul Parson, second. Slingshot for Daniel French, third. The long time leader, Marie Curie, couldn't quite get home for Nick Driver in fourth. And White Wizard for Derek Hinton ran on into fifth.